Washington, D.C. is one of the most rewarding tourist centers in the whole of the USA, with literally hundreds of fascinating things to see and do. By American standards, Washington is a relatively compact city of just under a million people. This is good news for visitors, because it means that whatever part of town you choose to stay in, you are not too far away from the major sites and attractions. In today's video, we will be looking at where to stay in Washington, D.C., to get the most out of your visit. We will be looking at some of the top attractions the city has to offer, and the best Washington, D.C. neighborhoods, to stay in to take advantage of them. I'll start with Georgetown. Georgetown can justifiably claim to be the very heart of Washington, D.C., since his affluent and attractive neighborhood, on the west side of the city, dates back to the mid-18th century. It is a prestigious part of town that enjoys a beautiful waterfront setting next to the Potomac. There are few places in the USA that feel as European as this district, with its cobblestone streets and beautiful historic red brick buildings. Georgetown is very convenient for all the major tourist attractions of the center of Washington. Because of this great location, it is the accommodation choice for many of the U.S.'s political world's movers and shakers. Georgetown is home to Georgetown University, and this institution injects a youthful exuberance into the social fabric of the area. So if you're looking for some buzzing nightlife, you will find plenty of bars and clubs that cater to a student crowd. Downtown D.C. is, well, downtown. No part of the city is more convenient for all of the significant landmarks and attractions. Highlights of the central part of town include many museums like the famous Smithsonian, the city's theater district, and the National Mall, a vast two-mile-long park that runs from the Potomac on the west side to the Capitol building on the east. Downtown D.C. is the most popular tourist spot in the city and is packed with free-of-charge monuments and museums. The Lincoln Memorial is here, as is the Jefferson Memorial. There are also memorials commemorating World War II, the Vietnam War, the Korean War, and a monument commemorating Martin Luther King. DuPont Circle is a conveniently central area just north of Washington's city center. The area spreads out around a central roundabout where ten roads meet, and this junction is symbolic of the eclectic mix of cultures and activities that you will find here. This is the intersect of Massachusetts Avenue, New Hampshire Avenue, and Connecticut Avenue. All of the tourist sites of central D.C. are just a few minutes stroll to the south, but there are some interesting places to visit in DuPont Circle itself. The Phillips Collection is a well-curated art gallery dating from 1921 that is well worth a visit. The gallery houses a vast collection of international modern art. DuPont Circle is also home to the National Geographic Museum. Logan Circle is a district of Washington, D.C. that spreads out around a large roundabout and park. This is one of the oldest parts of the city, and you will find some delightful old historic buildings here. But it is a very modern area, and is one of the trendiest and most happening parts of town. Logan Circle is a convenient place for tourists since it is just a few hundred meters to the northeast of the downtown area with the White House and all the other tourist attractions. Chinatown's buzz and excitement is just to the south, and the happying DuPont Circle isn't far away to the west. Adams Morgan, a historic neighborhood, is Washington, D.C.'s most hip and happening area. It is packed full of affordable accommodation, fabulous international eateries, and scores and scores of bars and clubs. If you are a city lover and revel in areas that run 24 7 then this is the place for you. Adams Morgan is located a little to the north of downtown, and it is well connected to the center of town by the red line of Washington's metro service. There are also regular buses that offer a quick and convenient way to get to all of the city center sites. The evocatively named Foggy Bottom is an extremely photogenic part of Washington, D.C. The area is in a waterfront location to the northwest of downtown. There are splendid views across the Potomac River to Theodore Roosevelt Island and Little Island, two islands covered with attractive tree-filled parks. Foggy Bottom is home to the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts and also houses the National Symphony Orchestra. The area is also very well provided for when it comes to hotel accommodations. Woodley Park is an excellent place to stay if you want to explore the city from a leafy suburb. The area is located three kilometers northwest of downtown Washington. Despite being a little way out of the city, it is very simple to get into the center of town by jumping on the subway at the nearby Woolley Park Zoo slash Adams Morgan Station. The Washington National Cathedral is an imposing edifice on the western side of Woodley Park. Another notable local site is the Smithsonian National Zoological Park, which is an extremely well-curated zoo that is a great place to take the kids. Capitol Hill is a conveniently central district of Washington that spreads out around the Capitol Building over on the east side of downtown. This area has a number of federal buildings, including the Supreme Court of the United States and the Library of Congress. 
It is a green and leafy area with lower Senate Park running into the extensive cultivated parklands around the Capitol building itself. Seward Square, Folger Park, and Garfield Park are other green areas in the vicinity. Many big cities in the USA and beyond have a district known as Chinatown. Washington is no exception, and it is a great place to visit or to make as a base during time in the city. Friendship Arch marks its entrance, and you will see it above H Street, where it crosses 7th Street. There is a metro station which links Chinatown with other parts of Washington. You will find this Northeast Union Station, neighborhood north of East Capitol Street and east of North Capitol Street. It has other names as well, Little Rome or Little Vatican, because of its strong links to Catholicism. Gallaudet University, the Catholic University of America and Trinity Washington University are all found here. With good transport links, Northeast makes a great base in the city. There is no problem finding a good restaurant for dinner or planning a night out elsewhere in the city. It is an inexpensive district, and you should be able to find a room to suit any budget. Washington, D.C. is a vibrant modern city with a diverse array of attractions to appeal to a wide variety of visitors. Ideally you should now have a better idea of what exactly the city has to offer you and which is the best Washington, D.C. neighborhood for you to stay in. Now that you know where to stay and what to do during your trip, all that's left is deciding on your perfect accommodation. I know that you are going to have some wonderful experiences in Washington. Enjoy.